Hello, Alan Steady here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we will be configuring the interface of the UTM. In the event you have bypassed the Internet Uplink, LAN, or WAN settings as part of the setup wizard, or should you need to add or modify a current interface, this video will guide you through this process. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we're logged into the web admin of the UTM. We're going to select the interfaces and routing going into the interfaces. Here's a list of the interfaces, both LAN and WAN, that are automatically created as part of the setup wizard or manually added. The UTM supports a range of interface types, Ethernet, DSL, modem, and 3G dongles. Note that each interface requires an IP address, either static or DHCP, and can optionally have default gateway. To edit one of the interfaces, simply select the edit action associated with the interface you wish to edit. To create a new interface, select the Add New Interface. Enter a name we wish to associate with the new interface, the type, the hardware, which is associated with the port on the UTM, the IP address, if it's static, net mask. We can alternately add a default gateway. By expanding the advanced option, we can optionally set the MTU, proxy ARP, whether or not it's asymmetric, and display the max bandwidth and define its data type. If the bandwidth for the connections are not the same as the interface maximum, the actual bandwidth should be specified using the displayed max. Note, this will ensure that the bandwidth monitor on the dashboard is able to function correctly. Once you have successfully entered in all of the fields, select save and we can see that the new interface was just created.